if you are just uh, tuning into our program. Uh, let me catch you up. September uh, is home to vlog every day in September. Uh, a little fun activity, <laughs> I guess you could call it project, that uh, some uh, small YouTubers like myself do, where you vlog every day in September. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Last year was my uh, 10th vets. Uh, not consecutively, but you know, pretty close. It's been a wild ride. A good wild ride, but a wild ride nonetheless. I was doing vets, um, you know, when I was in high school, I did it for a year, but you know, through college, all the way through college, uh, all the way through getting my own place. VEDS uh, has followed me through my adult life and I've made some friends doing this and made a handful of videos that are worth watching. It's been pretty cool. But there are two things I've kind of noticed about VEDS in, the, in that 10 years. So if you'll, if you'll allow me to be a little uh, wizened old man about it. The two things I've noticed about VEDS is that one, the uh, success of VEDS is not in the completion, it is in the attempt. Most of the time uh, in my years of doing VEDS, no one got to the <laughs> got to the 30 day. That's not true. I think at least every year one person got to the 30 day mark. Even then it was a question whether they did it in September or whether it spilled out into October. Most of the time people don't make it. That's fine. <laughs> I like that about VEDS, kind of. And I don't think that there's any shame in not, not winning VEDS. VEDS isn't something to win. It's something to try to do. And the reward is not getting to day 30. It is making all the videos along the way. I've said before, and I will say again, if you get through VEDS and you only make five, three, one video, that's one video more than you would have made. And so in my mind, that's a success. The second thing is that VEDS allows for a lot of experimentation and uh, variability. Whether or not you even do it on YouTube is something like it's been done on Twitch, it's been done on Tumblr. A couple times people have done VEDS blog every day in September where there isn't even a video aspect to it. I am gonna introduce my own variation, my own experiment into this. I'm not doing VEDS this year, friends. I am doing VODZA. VODZ. 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 VODZ is vlog every other day in September. It's a, it's a groundbreaking variation. Instead of doing 30, you only do 15. And you go up to a normal person that's like, hey, can you make 15 videos in a month? And they're like, I probably could, but I would enjoy it. But you say that to a VEDZY and they're like, who sent me on vacation? This is gonna be a breeze. There are three reasons uh, why I'm cutting the workload in half effectively and doing VODZA. They go as follows. Let's start with the most important and the most relevant. Uh, it's that I am in a bad place mentally. That is not rare for VEDS. August especially, end of July into August, into the beginning of September, not always my best time. That transition from late summer into the liminal space, I don't know, something about it doesn't work well up here. You can especially see that last year uh, in the first week. But this year it's, it's worse. It's been going on longer and it's been stronger. And uh, I can't let VEDS be my priority right now. I need to make getting by my priority. I need to be waking up and going to work and coming home and not having a breakdown in there, my priority. I still wanna do VETS. VETS has been helpful in the past. But it's, it's either served as a pathway for processing things, um, a channel for catharsis or distraction. But like I said, this year is a little bit more intense. And so I can't be doing everything that I would normally be doing. My priority does have to be the the normal stuff. The second thing is, and this was spawned from last year's, the VEDs speak to each other each previous year and forms the next. And uh, when I was experimenting with some of the videos last year, it kind of kept occurring to me, the type of videos I want to make, I need a little bit more room to do. But VEDs is about the crunch. That's the fun of VEDs. And also, if you'll look at when videos are uploaded to my channel, you'll know it's a good motivator for me. I won't put up videos outside September, so I need 
the crunch of beds. So I think this is a good way to kind of split the difference and give me enough time to experiment and play around in a bit more, um, with a bit more leniency, but still have the deadlines and expectations and the community aspect, which is the biggest thing that motivates me to make videos. And the third reason is that I have a lot of personal stuff going on in my life, not the mental health stuff, just like I got stuff to do and it's good stuff to do and I'm excited for that stuff. In a normal year of vets, it's stuff I could work around, trips, responsibilities, stuff like that in my personal life. And once again, that's kind of the fun of VEDS is having that scramble, having to work around that. It's another obstacle. It's another thing to influence your creativity. But with those other two reasons informing it, this was kind of the thing that pushed me over into deciding to do VEDS. Normally I could operate, but all this stuff kind of, you know, the equation spelled out, cut back a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting back just a little bit, but I'm still obviously here. And let me get to the obligatory part of a Ved's Day One video where I encourage you to be here too, because it's fun, because there is a community here, because you get to be creative. It is really worth it to have a creative outlet, and this is a very useful, helpful, and fun creative outlet. And you might be like, creativity, why? If you're watching my channel, you're probably not. <laughs> But let's say you are. Let me straw man you, okay? Your creativity, why? Well, tune in to my next video when I talk a little bit more about creativity, why? And that will not be tomorrow because we're not doing that. That will be on the third. I don't know what day that is. I'm not filming this on the first. So who knows? But tune in then. And until then, friends and fellow Vedsies, I will see you later. My director's commentary on this one is that I am a little sick, but I really needed to make myself make a video. That's the director's commentary here. And it brought a weird energy, but I always have one because I take 11 months off of doing videos and I come back being like, I got this. I don't got this. We got this. We got this together.